career uh, ready for broadcast journalism, so it's really neat. Uh, and as freshmen, you can take it because it's a zero-hour class. It won't interfere with your schedule. Uh, so then the, the students show up, we put the show together, and then we uh, the, the anchors and the floor manager go in there, and they use uh, hand signals and headsets, and they communicate to the actors. And then uh, we have three cameras in there so they can switch back and forth. Um, and then here is the control room, and so this is where all the magic really happens. These guys are in here flipping switches and pushing on buttons and twisting dials, making sure that uh, the right camera's up and that we've got the right media up, and that they, they run tape and then they run uh, live and then they uh, go back and forth between that. Uh, so it's really a neat class. I just had a professional in here today, and she was looking at it, uh, what we got going, and she says, this is amazing. I didn't even get to do this when I was in college. chin, bottom of the pelvis is where she's sitting in the chair, right? Feet, and here's her knees. I want the whole figure to fill the page. I don't want it to like be half a page. Stop when you sit down. Only draw when your eyes are in part. Try not to do a broken line. Good. It's really great to have you all here on a tour, seeing all the awesome opportunities here at Petaluma High. We really truly have something for everyone. Uh, the Ag Department, where I belong, uh, has three different basic pathways. One of them you're standing in, the Wildlife and Natural History program here uh, in the museum. I teach Ag Mechanics, so I brought a few of my projects here and a couple of my students. I teach welding, I teach introduction to Ag Mechanics, and then metal fabrication, where we build large projects, everything from little barbecues to big trailers. And then I also teach construction. And so if you're interested in learning how to work with your hands and uh, learn some of those skills, uh, I teach those classes down in the ag shop and the wood shop. Then we have our agri-science program, which includes the ability to learn about where your food comes from and learn about plant and animal systems. And that is taught by Ms. Parlato in our agri-science classroom down by the gym. Um, Mrs. Arntz is our uh, teacher up here in the wildlife area. Uh, she's been doing it for the last six years and she's been doing a great job bringing the museum up to a new level and having some pretty awesome students here that are docents. This is the only museum of its kind in the nation and our students are very well trained and they do stuff here all the time and that's something that we're looking for you as incoming freshmen to step up and take on that challenge to become the next generation here at PHS. We're in a pretty unique space right here, right now in this lab. You don't see this in every high school, okay? It's extremely unique. There is nothing like it in Sonoma County. It, it's really uh, one of a kind. So we have this manufacturing lab. Next door, we have an auto shop. We have an automotive engineering program here. For those of you who might be interested in auto, uh, many of you may be. 
Uh, we have a CAD lab, computer aided design lab, over in the main building. And up in the science and math building, there's an engineering lab. And there is a display over here on the table that shows some of the robotics and some of the different things that we get into over there. That's a really a lot of fun. As a freshman, uh, what you might consider is introduction to engineering and manufacturing. And that's a class that's co-taught by myself and Mr. Jones, our CAD teacher. And you rotate, you actually rotate between the CAD lab and the shop. So you end up designing things on a CAD system and then coming over here into the shop and making it. So you're going from the design to the applied. We do a lot of special projects. We do a buddy bench. You may have seen these steel slab benches all over the city of Petaluma. You guys recognize those steel benches? Yeah. Steel slab. We made every single one of those. All made right here by our students, okay? We want you to be prepared for this ever-changing technological word that world that we live in. You guys have been on the keyboards and been on computers since you're very young. And so you have all these great skills. You're going to be creating jobs that don't currently exist. So we want to give you a little sampling of a little bit of everything that's going on in business. And that's what this freshman class gives you. We try to give you a little sampling so you can kind of sort of pick a pathway. Not that you're locked into that, but it gives you an opportunity to check out your interests. Okay? So you're with us for a semester learning to hone those skills about keyboarding, editing, proofreading, time management, all of those things that are important for you to do. But then we give you the sampling of different types of business options so you too can say, where might I want to take my future? Then you can select classes that are going to advance you on that path so that you are more marketable, more competitive when you leave school to choose whatever path you're looking at. My kids right now are doing that same type of idea. They picked an idea, they said, oh, what am I passionate about? What do I love? And they are researching potential jobs that could be created within that passion, that, that desire, that whatever it interests them. Because that's what we're here for, to help you be successful in high school and for whatever you're choosing after. This is um, our gym expo, so there's going to be <laughs> lots of different clubs and classes and languages and different programs at our school that are going to be represented here. They're going to have tables here, um, so please feel free to go up to them and ask questions and ask them about programs. Find things that you're interested in and maybe you want to do in high school. Um, if you have your green sheet, it'll tell you exactly what tables are here and you can um, ask them questions, so um, just feel free to explore. We have about 10 minutes to explore. Um, so. So let's um, come in.